from JTS 12 Volt with Rowan from the workshop. Now, we've got a question from Clive Hicks. Now, what he's asked is, what's the difference, Rowan, needed to wire in a isolated and non-isolated DC-DC? So we've got a couple here. Um, we've got the non-isolated DC-DC uh, charger. We've also got the uh, 50 amp and the 30 amp. So what's the difference between the two? So let, first of all, we'll start with what's the difference between isolated and non-isolated as far as Victron's concerned, all right? So what it actually means is the, the negative side of your circuit is isolated. So uh, in a standard vehicle setup that we do in caravans and motorhomes and four-wheel drives, we generally use a common earth system, right? So you can earth the chassis or you can earth to a bus bar and then it goes to either the house battery or the start battery, right? Whereas an isolated earth system isolates those two systems separately. So your engine system is completely separate from your house system. Generally used on boats more than it is in, in sort of motorhome and, and caravanning situations. So we actually don't use the isolated units unless it's requested. It is a bit tricky with the term isolated because in all of these Victron units, the positive is isolated when it's broken, when the, the, the connection is broken, right, by the machine. So um, if there's a voltage break at, you know, 12.7, so at 12.7, the, the positive is then broken, right? So then they're isolated, okay? But when they're connected, everything's running as normal and sometimes you'll use the ignition switching, particularly on a red arc or something like that, you'd use ignition switching with a smart alternator, right? So when you turn it on, there is a, a, a connection and everything's working. When you turn the vehicle off, everything is then isolated from your start battery. So it is a bit of a tricky term um, and it's probably more, um, more difficult to choose if you're, if you're not aware of that difference, right? So we use the non-isolated system um, only as far as Victron's terminology is concerned. As far as your house battery not draining from your start battery, all of our systems are isolated via voltage sensing or via ignition switching. Okay, so using relays and things like that, like in our tow bars, our tow kits, we've got the uh, relay in there to stop the power from That's going right. all the Set way off through. Ignition. So. Yeah. And the same goes in these, they have this uh, little uh, clip that goes into here. Generally when you use it for like a smart alternator or something, you can use that um, smarts inside the unit and just have the little black loop running through. Um, we always find it's much better just to work, bring an ignition source in and run it straight in. And that way you don't have to worry about those smarts, you don't have to think about the settings. When the car starts, the unit turns on. When the car turns off, the unit turns off. It's, it's really a lot simpler that way, and there's less chance for issues as far as um, if your alternator's not working as well as it should, you're still getting the charge in that you should be getting in. So wiring it in, so we'll show up a, an image of our board that we've got the uh, isolated one, and it has four entry points for your cabling. So with this one, it only has three. That's right, so that, that means that you're using a common earth system. All right, so there's only one negative coming out of here yep. that's going to either your shunt or a bus bar, right? And then all your other items that you're running off it or your solar charging, all of that can go to that common earth, right? So that way it all talks to each other. Your start battery comes in, it goes straight to the earth, not straight to this unit, straight to the earth, one from here, straight to that earth, right? So it's a common earth. Whereas when you've got the four lines, you separate the input earth completely, right? And then with your house system, you don't go to chassis. It all has to come back to that bus bar or the shunt. Okay, yeah. cool, no worries. Well, I hope, Clive, that that answers your question in regards to how or what the difference is between the non-isolated and isolated. Um, again, if you have more questions, send them through, comment down below and we'll get Rowan to uh, go through it with we'll you sort it out. and uh, we'll create a video for you. Cheers. Right, cheers, bye.